show you a presentation about transitioning from cloud on-premise, NLP. Uh, uh, I will uh, try to answer the question, uh, why transitioning from cloud on-premises? Uh, because we usually encounter reverse migration scenarios, but companies, as they develop their own infrastructure with GPU, decide to perform uh, those migration. The main reason for such decisions are cost effectiveness, customization and control, performance optimization, and of course, data security and privacy. I will describe the immigration in which I took part. Uh, the transition, the transition uh, took place from the Google Cloud, from the NLP uh, API service, to on-premise based on Spacey. The presentation plan is as follows. I will start a presentation with planning and assessment. Then I will move on design and development. The next step will be implementation and testing. Next, transition and optimization. And I will finish with finalizing the project. In this phase, I analyze business needs and collect requirements. I assess the current use of Google NLP API. I identify specific NLP tasks and performance metrics. I have defined data privacy and security requirements. I check the available hardware requirements. I also check that I, I can use infrastructure with a multiple GPU. Uh, Google NLP API offers the following features, sentiment analysis, entity uh, and sentiment analysis, content classification. On the available options, I did not use only syntax analyze in the given project. Sentiment analysis is used to determine uh, whatever data is positive, negative, uh, or neutral. Uh, the green uh, boxes are uh, positive, uh, the uh, yellow one are neutral, and the red one are uh, negative. Magnitude indicates that the overall strength of emotions, both positive and negative, with the given text. The range is from uh, zero to infinity. The, uh, the higher it is, the more emotional the text, and therefore the less objective it is. I needed sentiment for the entire text and also for individual sentences. Entity analyzes inspect the given text for no entities like price, number, organization, location, etc. Content classification analyzes a document and returns a list of content categories that apply to the text found in the document. Currently, Google offers more than 1,000 categories. Uh, in this phase, uh, uh, I would like to mention uh, uh, about uh, during the system architecture design phase, I decided to provide APA based on fast API. The programming language was Python. The project was uh, first indeed on uh, to be POC at first. After testing the libraries, the choice fell on Spacey and Sentence Transformers. Configuring Spacey and Sentence Transformers in one API was not without problems. The order in which the packages was installed turned out to be a very important element. The, choices, uh, the choice of Spacey took place after the test. I also considered that a classic NLTK library. However, Spacey is very fast and has a small GPU support. The standard Spacey pipeline is a tokenizer that segment text into tokens. Tagger, a sync part of speech tags. Parser, a sync dependency labels. NER, detect uh, la uh, label named entities. Lemmatizer, a sync base uh, forms. And text cut, a sync document labels. However, it requires training and, of course, data for training. Uh, Spacey had almost everything I needed uh, ready. Only I had to install additional Spacey uh, text blob library to perform sentiment analysis. Since Spacey itself does not directly provide sentiment scores for text, it is based on text blob from NLTK library. Now we can see uh, Google NLP and Spacey capabilities based on the needs of the project. As I said before, Spacey doesn't support content classification in Google NLP API's way. For the content classification, I use sentence transformers because of assumption of not detraining the model. 
I use the uh, this model for embeddings. It is very small. Uh, for metric, I use a standard solution like a cosine similarity. The idea uh, the idea was very simple. Um, I did embeddings for the given text and for all Google categories. Then I compared it using cosine similarity. The solution, of course, was not without problems. I had a uh, problem with different versions of Torch library. Both Spacey and uh, trans uh, Sentence Transformers use different versions of PyTorch. Uh, the solution was to install the package in the right order. In this phase, I have conducted testings for accuracy, performance, and reliability. Uh, for API, I use uh, FastAPI. It, uh, it's very light and modern framework. Uh, the main challenge was the system was uh, heavily loaded by sentence transformers. I solved this by using a single instance of service instead of using a dependency injection. The application started slowly, but then, then ran quickly. The result with Spacey was very good. We, uh, we had no objection to our application. However, the content classification was quite good. I achieved the score of 50% in text classification. The model used only uh, 500 uh, tokens and the text content was uh, often bigger. In the future, company will uh, use the summarization for given the text or bigger model. Changing the API to local uh, one was easy due to code compatibility. I only switched the uh, endpoint, that's all. And uh, now we can jump, uh, jump to the next uh, session uh, section. I could deploy the same uh, in the same infrastructure both version of application with Spacey and Google. Then tester could compare the results. Uh, of course, I also did this. After implementation and deploying the project, the following conclusion emerged. In the future, the API will be divided into spacey and sentence transformers. Additionally, summar summaries will be used uh, for, text, uh, for text classification or uh, we will use uh, bigger uh, models. Almost all processes and data flows work as indeed. The system is designed for the future uh, requirements. In the summary, you can see that not everything was in 100% of success. And now uh, we can jump to uh, live coding. On my laptop, I cannot use GPU, so I uh, decide to show my future of our of uh, application. Firstly, uh, uh, I can show the speed of uh, loading uh, my service. Uh, if I run it, uh, it took a lot of time. And if you can imagine that this is the uh, single request, uh, the user uh, have to wait a very long time. So it's, yeah, it's, it's not a good idea to do it like this. So I decided to use a, a singleton uh, uh, instead of the uh, DI, dependency injection in uh, fast API. And it was uh, quite good uh, because it was, uh, everything good was loaded in memory. And the content is uh, a sample text from a website. I put the same content on a uh, Google, uh, Google API. And I, I will show you uh, in a few minutes. And then uh, we can jump to a sentence analysis and lemma tokens. Uh, this is the uh, only few lines to uh, uh, to get the results. And uh, as you can see, uh, uh, first line is a uh, sentiment. Uh, and the sentiment range is the same uh, like in Google. So uh, it's without conversion, let's say. But magnitude uh, is different because uh, in a space it, it, it's from zero to one and in Google it's from uh, zero to infinity. So it's yeah it's uh, it's tricky way to uh, to make it compatibility, but uh, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, the results will be uh, will be not the same like on on Google because uh, when I switch to Google, I put the same uh, uh, text, and when you uh, when you switch to uh, sentiment, 
uh, this uh, sentiment in Google is a little bit higher and magnitude yeah is um, it's a different a different number of course but uh, uh, this is only one uh, one uh, site uh, I did a uh, lot of uh, let's say hundred tests and uh, the uh, score of uh, sentence a uh, sentiment was a little bit uh, I, I think uh, the same but not the same in hundred percent the magnitude is uh, mm, was also maybe uh, in the same level uh, as uh, sentiment. Uh, then uh, we can uh, we can see on uh, uh, text and uh, lemma tokens. The first uh, place is text. The second is uh, uh, lemma tokens. And uh, this is it was the main future of our application. We we are focused on uh, lemma tokens. And it was in 100% uh, percent of success. Uh, it was really good. Uh, 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 I also use uh, for it uh, an NLTK, and it was not. So, uh, it was good, but not very good. Like Spacey, the Spacey the best uh, in this way. Uh, next step is entity analyze, and uh, of course you see uh, that uh, uh, there is a little bit different in names uh, because he's org and in. Google, uh, we have organization, maybe not uh, not here because it's all, oh, his organization. So uh, this is a little bit uh, different, but uh, of course uh, we can map uh, the names from one to a second. And we, uh, we didn't uh, use a lot of entities, but uh, in our case, it was good. In the last uh, section, uh, content classification, here we have uh, the last three results because, uh, as you see uh, uh, in Google, also uh, provide us uh, um, more than one uh, uh, categories, but uh, it, there is confidence. Uh, so it, it means that uh, if you have a number uh, near to one, so it's the best. Near to zero, yeah, it's, it's a kind of mess. So from Google, these two uh, categories uh, from... Uh, top uh, are good and we go to uh, to uh, send transformers and this uh, small model and i always put a uh, free because uh, yeah we have to uh, i had to choose uh, the uh, the one or two the best but the scores are not so uh, not so high like in google but in this place i i mark on red uh, uh, this is uh, the same but uh, of course, in this uh, uh, this sampler uh, site, uh, I did success, <laughs> but it was not uh, like in my test. Uh, uh, as I uh, because here uh, we have uh, three subcategories: finance, insurance, health insurance, and sometimes Google takes uh, four. And uh, when you have four, uh, uh, sentence transforms give me uh, the half success. So the first two are good, but the second. Uh, the last two, it was not good. So, uh, yeah, we decide to uh, to cut the categories for uh, for half, and it was yeah, it was uh, uh, pretty good. But of course, uh, when um, somebody else uh, can focus on uh, all categories and all from Google, yes, because it was um, embedding uh, on also on uh, Google categories. So we have to. Uh, mm, take a better model because uh, it, it was the smallest one or uh, as I mentioned be, uh, before uh, I use also um, uh, the uh, um, I use also uh, uh, the uh, s uh, some uh, text uh, half text because it's only 500 tokens and if text has uh, let's say 700 or 1000 tokens tokens it's like a word yeah uh, you can imagine about this. So uh, half of text is not getting uh, embedding. So large models can uh, have uh, better results, of course. Uh, I, I I hope because Google is black box. Uh, his a, a API uh, Google has a very large model, so you cannot uh, you cannot do the same. Uh, maybe if you have a big infrastructure, but uh, yeah, it's maybe not. Uh, in all components. 
So that's all, uh, let's say from my side, it, in, uh, in, uh, in big, uh, I think uh, maybe uh, I can uh, focus on something else, but uh, then we can go to a uh, to, uh, uh, question and then I can maybe uh, tell, tell uh, something else and maybe tell, tell something more about uh, one or two or some content. And uh, the POC is uh, still uh, not ending because uh, the company uh, took uh, some uh, will took some uh, decision, but uh, it is not done. Uh, but uh, from my point of view, I will uh, separate uh, these two uh, two APIs from uh, Spacey and Sentence Transformers, and also for summarization, let's say, because yeah, it's it it was tricky to uh, make it. Uh, working and uh, I think uh, uh, two is better than one because of uh, of uh, different brothers. So that's all from uh, what I wanted to add.